All right, what's happening, everybody? Looper Noise here, back with another one of these TikTok videos where I go over uh, a certain situation, a topic, something that's going around the internet that got everybody talking, or just something that's been on my mind that where I feel like it's an interesting topic to talk about. Um, so today, um, I actually came across this YouTuber and his video talking about the the in the music industry. And how hip hop is like sort of falling off in terms of like the most popular music. So he considers pop music, country music, and hip hop as the three top genres right now worldwide. Um, and he's saying like uh, hip hop is slowly falling off of that uh, title. So I'm going to dive into that and basically give my two cents of like how I feel about that. I, I, I disagree with it, but I'm explain exactly why I disagree with it. Before I get into the topic, though, just want to quickly say September 14th, I have a brand new song coming out, Cursor. Uh, it will be available on SoundCloud and YouTube around like one in the morning. And then by four in the morning, it'll be available on all other platforms. That's including uh, Amazon, iTunes, um, I, uh, Spotify, all the other platforms. But SoundCloud and YouTube, you'll be able to to hear it um, a little bit earlier. So September 14th, um, I'll say around like 1 o'clock in the morning, YouTube, SoundCloud, brand new song, uh, Cursor. So stay tuned for that. And I also got a Patreon going on right now. Um, I, I'm going to upload some more videos um, this week coming. I'm going to be a little more frequent when it comes to like uploading videos. So if you go onto Patreon, look up Looper Norris. Um, if you want to learn my songwriting, beat making techniques, I'm going to talk a lot about that on my Patreon account. Um, so stay tuned for that if you are interested. Um, and, uh, yeah. So now this topic here. So I came across, I, um, I came across this YouTuber's, uh, video talking about how hip hop is falling off, uh, the the mainstream world when it comes to mainstream music and the top genres in the world he's basically saying that hip-hop is falling off and i think this quote comes from uh the fact that uh all this year we haven't had one hip-hop song hit the number one spot on any music charts um it could be different now um because i have it checked but uh, I'm pretty sure that's what this quote came from. The fact that there hasn't been a number one track, uh, a number one hip hop song, um, hit the charts and every single year since, uh, hip hop started, I think there has always been at least one song every single year that's gone number one on, um, all, all the, the music industry charts when it comes to like popular music. And this is the first year where there hasn't been one so a lot of uh, music fanatics and uh, a lot of industry people are, are starting to think that hip-hop might be falling off of like the the pop world the mainstream world and i'm going to explain why this is not the case so i always feel like um hip-hop there there's two different uh fan groups when it comes to hip-hop, right? You got the group of hip-hop listeners that grew up listening to hip-hop. They listen to all the old school, the classics, the, the Trap Call Quest, the Roots, the Wu-Tangs, uh, the, the De La Souls, the um, Snoop Dogs, the Dr. Dre's, the Ice Cubes, the, you know what I mean? The Lupe Fiascos, those kind of hip-hop heads that grew up listening to all hip-hop and uh old school hip hop and you know they they're really they have a lot of like knowledge when it comes to like hip hop you got that group of people right and then there's the the hip hop listeners that are more like pop listeners and they'll kind of just listen to the most popular rap song that's playing on the radio or at the club and that's their favorite song you know what i mean and that's how they get into hip-hop and then they want to hear more so they'll listen to like the next most popular rapper and then the next most popular rapper or the next most popular song and 
that's how they listen to hip hop and that's how they call themselves a uh, uh, a uh, hip hop head, right? They're just listening to the hip hop records that's being put in front of them. And then they got the real true hip hop heads that actually go out looking for the 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 um the song or the rapper that's good. They're not just listening to a uh, a record label or uh like a hip hop uh I don't know, like a like a plug channel just giving you the most popular sound that's out there and that's how you like know like a real hip-hop head can tell the difference between a good hip-hop record and a bad hip-hop record and i don't think it's the same case when it comes to like uh, a record label um that that basically owns the rights to an artist that maybe doesn't have any talent and the record label is shaping that that artist into becoming what they are are now, and they're basically just like a like a superstar pop talent that's using the art of rapping and hip hop to make their music. But they're they're truly really just a pop star at the end of the day. And a real hip hop listener is gonna tell the difference between that artist and like a a Joey Badass or like an Action Bronson or like a Kendrick Lamar, they're going to know that they're a, a Little Pump or like a Jack Harlow or or whatever, a Trippy Red, you know? Like a hip hop head is going to tell the difference between that sound and that sound. So I, ha I have to say that first. And I feel like the most popular style of hip hop isn't like... Um, there's nothing real about it. It's it's basically made for that pop listener that has no knowledge about hip hop, enjoys the sound, and will only listen to a record if it's put in front of them, right? The the, the record labels understand that and they shape the artist into the type of artist that's just going to like brainwash that listener into enjoying the music no matter what just because of the things that's shaped around the artist playing it constantly on the radio playing it constantly on the club just constantly promoting it everywhere so everywhere you go you hear the song you hear the song constantly that's a technique to force a listener that's not used to listening to hip-hop to to force them into liking the song and spending money uh because they like the song so much right and that will ultimately make the label more money at the end of the day right compared to like maybe like an independent label that's putting out records that they feel like like that's putting out records that they want to put out right there's no huge team of people that's shaping a record they're making a song with like a producer um they're paying somebody to like maybe make a cover for it and then they're just putting it out right if you listen to a song like that there's not going to be all this like garbage like over it that's gonna like brainwash you into mm -hmm. liking the song it's gonna just be a natural song and a natural experience of you like listening to what the artist has to say and and liking it that way right mm -hmm. the, the record labels have the money and the power so they control what what's good and what's hot so as long as it's as long as it's like that uh, people are gonna think that hip-hop's falling off but as long as you go out and look for the right artists and the right song, because there is so many rappers out there in the world that's making different music, uh, that uh, different music compared to what you're hearing on the radio. So if you don't want to just like stick to like the same bullshit that you hear on the radio, go out, use the Internet and go out and look for the right type of hip hop, because there is good. There is so many good rappers out there in the world where like this type of statement just makes absolutely no sense. Like, you can't just say, like, like the hip-hop's falling off when you have guys like Kendrick Lamar and J. Cole and even, like, I don't know, like, Nas still making records, right? So, I don't know. Tell me what you guys think, but I disagree with this, man. Like, hip-hop ain't falling off, man. Maybe to, like, the pop listener, right? But something to think about, man. Something to think about.